Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. So, the last episode, we got through that one little route that led up to Mount Moon, and we went to the uh, find our first encounter with Team Rocket. So now we're gonna get through Mount Moon. Uh, if you go up here, oop, we got some. Let's see here. We got some repels, I think. Oh yeah, I've got two laptops. Fine, I can do this. I believe. Alright, so, I think there's very few people who you actually, alright, you have to, you don't have to go against her. Uh, yes, excellent. Okay, so now you go down here, and I think there's some stuff you can get. Uh, yeah, there's this guy you can fight, but I'm not going to fight him, because I'm a lover. Alright, now we found TM46 Thief, which is a move that means you can do things. Um... Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna fight him, but I'm not gonna, not gonna show. All right, so, uh, Jesus or Hazos, he grew to level five, and ooh, we don't have to fight this guy. Excellent. And let's see, do we have to? Uh, uh, oh, whew, that was a close one. And we come up here, and you can oh no. And you come up here, and you can get a moonstone. All right, so there's another moonstone you can get somewhere else, but psh, who needs moonstones anyway, right? All right. So, now we go down here, and, uh, sorry, dang it. Alright, so, dang, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have one more repel, I think. There we go. Alright, he's my last repel. From this point on, it's, it's not even that big of a deal. It's not that big of a, uh, dungeon. So I go up here, and then you get your first instance of a revive, which brings you back your Pokemon from being fainted without having to go to the Poga Center. And we go down here. We don't... Oh, let's see if we can do this. Don't have to fight him. Go down here. And, oh. Probably should have a stronger Pokemon out first because the last two times I... Uh, let's see here. Uh, those Zubats were the same level as Bjerg, so... Going up here, I think there's two, you have two more battles, and okay, well, repels, perfect, war, oh. Alright, so, after I was interrupted, gosh, I, oh my. Alright, now, hopefully I can actually do this without being interrupted again, because it's kind of annoying. I was going to say annoying, but whatever. Alright, so I'm going to switch out Hazos. That way I can switch back to Chairman and he can get some levels up because he's kind of low level, level 5, and I'm fighting level 10s and 11s. I want to use him that way so I have a Pokemon to go against my rival who is using Squirtle, so that is my reasoning. You're welcome! Actually, I could throw out Bjerg for this because this is normal type. So we're gonna throw out Bjorg and he will be destroying people with his karate chop because he's a itch ni san shi. Come on, everybody, karate. If you know, if you know, hashtag references. All right, excellent. That was super effective. Go Bjerg. Nice. All right, gained a level. That's good, good, good. Oh, gained loot. Oh. Oh, just tail whip. Alright. Learn tail whip. It's fine. It's fine. Thought I gained two levels, but whatever. And Bjerg gained to level 12. Excellent. Use Zubat again. Uh, yes, I'm going to change out to Chairman just to speed things up a bit. And we'll be good to go. Alright, so Chairman grew to level 17 in that last battle. Very nice, very nice. And... This guy is kind of an interesting character. He's actually pretty tough, so what I'm going to do is heal up my Pokemon a bit. Um, I'll probably put one on Bjerg. And then... Alright, so this guy has... 
is interesting. He's going to be very important. Uh, you see those two things up there? Those are fossils. Yes, he is. Found some fossils. So, I think this guy has four or five Pokemon. Yeah, three Pokemon? Okay. It's pretty tough. Oh my gosh, my phone goes off! Alright, so he's got Grimer. Not not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, I'll just throw out Chairman, because he's pretty tough. Take on this Grimer. Uh, poison, Poison. Uh, fire takes on Poison, right? Attack Mist. Very good, because Grimer's actually pretty good. Um, so... At least I like to think he is. Cuff. <laughs> or something. You know, whatever. Alright, so Ember again, and we should be taking him down as long as we burn him. Nope, didn't work. Alright, so throwing out poison gas. Okay, I'll share. Well, that's very nice of you. I'd like you to share. Okay, so he wasn't super tough, but he's kind of annoying. But um, here we have the. Uh, do you want to take the dome fossil? Or do you want to take the helix? And if you notice that little thing right there. Um, so, one is, I think this one's Kabuto, one is, uh, Cloyster, not Cloyster, uh, Oyster, what is it? I don't remember what, Omnistar, and one is Kabuto, so I'm gonna go with this one, and I will get Dome Basil. Let's see, okay, so I think this is the one I want to get, um, if not, I'm gonna be kind of, kind of annoyed. Because I kind of like this Pokemon and I want to use it for my team. But, uh, yeah. Antidote. Oh, that's very nice of you. I know why they had an antidote there. That is because you will definitely get poisoned from some character on that team. Alright, so now we are on Route 4 to Cerulean City. Where we will have, uh, these two guys right here. One you will learn, Mega Punch! Uh, I actually think I'm going to be teaching that to... Okay, alright. I'm going to teach that to... Oh, dang. Right, I'm going to teach this to Bjerg. Mega Punch! And then I'm going to be teaching... Yep. Which move should be forgotten? Oh, that's... Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Which one? Oh, I'm probably going to go with Beer. Because he's an attacking Pokemon, he does stuff, and he attacks. Right, learn Mega Punch, that's very nice. And, alright, now your Cameron's in the way of punching. You should go before you're seen by the misguided fool who trains only in silly kicking over there. Alright, so, kick of brutal ferocity, packed with destructive power. We get right down to it. Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Mega Kick is actually a very good attack, and I recommend if any of your Pokemon can learn it, then teach it to them. Which I'm going to be doing. I'm teaching it to Chairman. Because it's a very good move. And we're gonna get rid of Scratch. Alright, learn Mega Kick. Very, very nice. Alright, now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. Uh now you should run before you're seen by the deluded nitwit who trains only simple punching over there. Why are they so... They're like the same person, then why are they... Why, should, why aren't they friends? <laughs> Come on, why aren't you friends? Alright, so we run down here. We run down uh, here. We should be able to get this, which is TM05. And this Roar lets you switch Pokemon out in a battle. And, oh, can't go over there yet. I want to make sure I get everything before we leave to Cerulean. Yeah, I think that's it, but all right. Let's hop down here. And now we are in Cerulean City. Now, you cannot make sure you do everything you want to do before you go to Cerulean because you can't go back. Cerulean City. And one little thing um, I want to add. Before we go and do something else, is come up here and go over here, right? Here you get a rare candy, which ups your Pokemon's level by one, which is very nice if you're trying to evolve a Pokemon. 
And it's one level away, and you're like, oh, I don't want to train anymore. And then you just throw real candy at it, and you're good to go. Got a bike shop here. Oh, man. So, I think we're going to end off here. We got two more boss battles in the next episode. So, make sure you guys come back for that. As always, guys, I think you should have a wonderful day.